Here we go. Eight minutes. I'm that cannot be right. So I just plop it in here and we just hit it up for eight minutes. I'm that cannot be right. That's because it's not. It was eight minutes and 30 seconds. Wrong. Well, we're already off to a great start. Yo, Zach, bro, this sh on fire, bro. Don't worry about it, it'll be fine. Okay, today we're gonna be doing a cook along with Asmin. Today I'm gonna show you all how I cook Who's a steak. Who's that? I know how to cook one meal, a steak. And today you're gonna learn how to do the same thing. Okay, we're gonna do it the exact same way he does it at the exact same time that he does it. Okay. What? Really? Yes. So, oh, that's Zach, good. It's like one of those buddy. workout videos. I start the day off, I eat one, two, four cookies, maybe some gummy life saving. I've actually changed that. Uh, I bought a whole cookie cake for Halloween. It's a, it's like a jack-o'-lantern, and I'm only halfway done with it. So I don't have to eat cookies, I just eat the cookie cake. Maybe go down to... Okay, so we need four cookies and some gummy lifesavers. That's like the only thing that I don't have in this pantry. I just we finished all my life here. I have no. to eat the rest of them later. Are you kidding get me? Get some more later. Oh. That's how he says he starts the day. So here's four cookies. Chat, everyone, go to your pantry. Get four no, cookies. No, you can't eat four Oreos. Four Oreos is like one cookie. Like, that's, uh, you cannot, like, that's, that's like one cookie. Like, what do you mean? And we must eat it, okay? If Zach does it, we shall do it too. Did he say one to four? Okay, one to four. No, four. I'll eat one then. Actually, no, I usually eat one to four. That's not true. All right. That looks Next. good on you. I don't know. McDonald's. Uh, it's about, looks like a little, a little past 1 a.m. And so this is prime yeah. steak time. Steak time, and baby. I'd like to show you guys how I actually do it. Pause. Really, it's I'm getting steak. Nick. Okay. Boomer, you only have to click on the video itself. You don't have to click the button. Click the, on the video. Did you just call me a boomer? Click on the video. The only thing I You're boom. You're looking for the play button. The only thing I boom is your cheeks when I clap them. Since when? Click on the video. Just <laughs> once. No. And uh, stop these are clicking. the steaks right here, you guys. Can... Stop clicking the play button. Okay, get the steaks, Melina. Show them what we got. So we have looked far and wide, guys, to get the steaks we possibly could, and here they are. These actually might even be a little bit too good. So here's the well, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, here they are. These actually might even be a little bit too good. I think those are, I, yeah, those. Uh, it's pretty, pretty fatty. Oh no, this definitely isn't it. Look, look, it's fourteen dollars. These are definitely different steaks. Yeah, that's that's way, way, way over. So here's the problem. We were too lazy to go shopping ourselves, uh -huh. so we sent someone to shop for us. And Smart. even the people shopping couldn't even fathom to purchase steaks so cheap. They even bought these ones. What the fuck is which that? Which are even more expensive, but also looks very disgusting. We will make these, because that is about four divided no, by... It's the, it's, same, three... it's the same steaks, but these are larger, heavier. Yes, it's three dollars okay, per steak, that's so fine. let's keep going. Uh, $7. So it was $7 for four steaks here. $7 for four steaks. We got $14 for four steaks. You got fucking finessed. You got scammed. You got cheated. So apparently our, our HEB is not as poor as the one that he goes to. Guys, what do you mean? That's unironically true. So my dad actually one time asked, because he went to the cheaper HEB, because, like, you guys know, if you're in Austin, you know about the HEB on I-35. Like, this HEB, like, I mean, people die here. Um, they actually don't take cash. The only thing they take there is food stamps. It's just the worst one in Austin. Everybody who's poor goes there. How do I know that? I went there many times. So the fact is that you go over there. And things are a lot fucking cheaper. And my dad asked them straight up, why are things cheaper here than at the other HEBs? And they, they really told them, they said, it's just a demographics. People here can't pay that much money. And if we price it that like that, 
the store will go out of business because nobody can fucking buy it. That's the, yeah, that's some hood shit. Yeah, there you go. Inflation. Do you think that the price of steak has doubled in 20, in 20 days? Thanks, okay, we'll Brandon. In, thank you, Biden. We'll say it's inflation. Let's continue. There is no silverware that is clean in the house. So we have, we're already kind of cheating because we have maids and we have, we have an entire thing of clean silverware. I'm what talking the fuck? forks, spoons, knives, black what forks, black spoons, black knives, you know, so we, we really what do have all that sort of Jesus. stuff. So we are already a little bit ahead of Zach here. Should we throw oh, some dirt God. onto it? Should we get some dirt? It's very hard not to like backseat this. There's nothing to backseat here. We are doing as instructed by Lord Asmongold. Like, I want to go over there and clean his kitchen. <laughs> no, you Leave don't. him alone. The handle of the pan. See, she thinks that because she doesn't know what it's really like. So I have a linoleum floor that started peeling up from the ground about 12 years ago. And there's actually dirt on half of the floor in my kitchen. And there are holes in all of the bottom areas of the kitchen that rats used to dig out. And I had to go to Home Depot to put in uh, this like special foam and then the rats ate through the foam and then I had to put in more foam and then I put in like metal things inside of the foam while it was drying. So it's like my mom, we were actually going to renovate the kitchen before COVID happened. I was going to renovate the whole kitchen for her. And then COVID happened and obviously, you know, like she was, her health was, I mean, obviously compromised. So uh, I didn't do it, but I told her, I was like, listen, like I'll, I'll buy you whatever kitchen you want. I'll do whatever renovation you want. If it's $20,000, $30,000, I'll pay it. Don't worry about it. Get whatever you're going to like, get whatever's going to make you happy. And COVID happened and it ended up not happening. Uh, it's like falling off. Okay, Melina, we need a pan like that. Yeah. Do we have one? We have one, but it's small. No, it has to be. It's, that one's pretty f***ing big. Nope, that's too small. Chat, do we need to f*** up the handle, too? I think we do. I'm going to get a hammer. No. It, it has to be authentic. Nick, this is expensive. If you're oh. spending more than, like, $15 on a pan, you're getting finessed. You just are. You're getting finessed. You go to Walmart, there's a pan. All right. Is that, that like you said, I, people like there's like a cooking set. It's like a 17 piece cooking set. It's a thousand dollars. You're getting finessed. Come on, that's my crowbar. Where's the pan? Um, we don't have a silver one. We can use black. That's is fine. Black fine chat? This is dirty too. Perfect. Okay. Chances it's not dirty. I'm gonna put this back. As with any good steak, what do you eat with the steak? Great question. Okay. It's potato, yeah. This True. is really annoying. I've, now I've got to clean a fork too. Uh, all the forks are dirty because I was eating steaks with them. Okay, so we don't have a dirty fork, but what I can do, I can lick this and then I can wash it. This is how I cook a potato, is I take the fork and I Yeah, for me, like I, I haven't, I don't like doing dishes. I have like all of the these are all of the previous steak forks and steak knives. Uh, they're all just like kind of chilling here. I just put them on this plate. I've got to clean all of them right here next to me. I just haven't wanted to wash them. Wash your plates? I don't need to. I only use paper plates. But I can't use plastic knives and forks because they melt. out of the potato this is what my mom told me to do because she didn't want to have to put it in the oven is yeah. this right chap you do that and i put the in the microwave i thought it was going to be bad too but it wasn't okay it's like squirting in my face yeah stab it deeper deeper i don't want to stab my fucking hand chad dude it's like squirting in my mouth by exactly. the way, if you stab your fork like your hand like that, it won't go into the skin. I've tried that; it doesn't work. You have to do it way harder. I didn't mention any of the squirt. Did you wash it? He didn't wash it. You know what? You have to eat this too. Why so would you, you wash a potato? Well. You're not going to eat the skin. The, the 
Does he just put it in there, like, on the microwave by itself? Yeah, no I just flopped the bitch in there. Does he just put it in there? Yeah. You know, he told us when he was here that you put it in there for eight and a half minutes. Eight and a half minutes? That's right. Yeah, that's gonna... What if his microwave is, like, really, really weak? But, like, my microwave no, is No, no, it's one of the good ones, because, like, uh, the last one broke... And I went and I got, it was like one of the $80 ones at Walmart. Like, cause you can get one for 30 and we really went in above and beyond. And like, it's, it's like, yeah, we got an $80. I think it actually might've been 120. That shit was fucking expensive. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a big one. Cause it's newer and it's strong. And this like just catches on fire. Cause no offense to Zach. I'm looking at his kitchen. It looks like it's old. Do we wrap it in tinfoil? To be fair. So like this refrigerator was like a thousand dollars and this stove was like seven hundred or eight hundred dollars. So like all of the new appliances that we bought after you know like they, they went bad again, I just because I I told my mom, I was like, listen, just b like buy the best one that you want. And she just bought it and that's what it was. Is it eight minutes regardless? Because that's what he did. Do we just trust that we have the same power microwave? Just, yeah, so fuck I just it. plop it in here and we just hit it up for eight minutes. I'm exhausted. Wrap it up in tinfoil? No, no. That cannot be right. Keep an eye on that if it starts smoking. Okay. It was great. I had one yesterday. Butter. Is he using a fork yeah. to do that? Was that a fork? Is he using the same fork that he used for the potatoes as well as for the butter? Is that what's happening? No, I use the same fork that I use for the potatoes, for the butter, for the raw meat, and then I eat with it. That's right. Also going to be eating with this same fork. Yes. Oh, it's, it's moving! Yo, Zach, bro. This is on fire, bro. This is going to explode. Guys, keep an eye on that camera, please. Top left. So anyway, uh, you put the butter on the pan, and you turn the pan on. Okay, like butter that. and pan, pan on. I'm going to get you guys a front row view. There All is. right, we here we it. go. Pan, butter. Heat. And, uh, then we're gonna go ahead Why would anyone make their life harder by using more than one? It's because some people are addicted to wasting their own time because they are worried about being clean. Listen, I am the cleanest person out there. I would never let myself eat actual raw meat. I don't even, you, you want to hear something crazy? I don't even touch the raw meat. I never let it touch my skin. At all. The reason why is because if I eat the, if I touch the raw meat, then I have to wash my hands. And if I have to wash my hands, that means I can't touch my phone because then I'll get the raw meat on my phone. And then if I wash my hands, then my hands will dry out and they'll feel uncomfortable. So I never wash my hands and I never get them dirty. If you watch how I do it, I will never even touch the raw meat. And then get back into uh, the steak situation. So uh, I have three things that I put on my steaks. Let's go ahead and talk about it. This is a uh, Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Same brand. Same exact brand. Also, uh, this is. Steaks. See, you know they went to the fucking expensive H E B, man, because like this shit was like fucking like five dollars, and y'all know like the craft or, or like the was it French's uh, Worcestershire sauce is like, it's like ninety six cents or something like that, and everybody knows it's just as good as the expensive stuff. It's just as fucking good, and I don't want to hear anything otherwise. But you know these rich people think that they're fucking on a diet and everything, trying to, oh, I'm eating this many calories. I'm, I'm, I'm only eating, you know, kale, wheat, bread. And, and they're, they're, they have, like, these little small fucking bottles. I guarantee you, man, that small fucking bottle costs probably more than the big one did at my HEB. Guarant-fucking-teed, man. Boss. Okay. Same brand. Same exact brand. Also, uh, yeah. steak seasoning. Same exact brand. Yep. And, uh, also, we get lemon pepper. Lemon and pepper. Smart. Here. One so minute left for the see, potato. Uh, we got a steak right here. Watch, see how I never touch it. It's not a big I never it's touch the meat. He did uh, not season it. Here. He took it straight from the thing and put it into I the pan, and he did not season it. That's because if I season it, I would get something else dirty. 
I have min-maxed this process perfectly. I season it in the pan, and I only wash the pan. Yes, I, I, I season this in the pan. Like, this is not, it's not crazy. Bro, your fork gets raw meat on it, too? Okay, number one, the raw meat is going to... I'm going to be sticking the fork in the meat while I'm cooking the meat. The raw meat and the residue will be stuck back in there. And the heat from the fork will probably make it to where anything that was to any degree uh, unhealthy or that could be uh, you, you know, bad for me would probably go away. Uh, on top of that, like red raw meat, think about it like this. If red raw meat was good for you or was bad for you, just period, Liver King would be dead. But he's not. So it looks like it's not just bad for you. It's the raw chicken meat that's bad for you. Think about that. Bear Tartar. That was so fucking good, Blizzard had to nerf it in BFA. Potato is done. We will leave it in there. Put it in the pan. We can put two in there. There's one. So you gotta shake. That's a double steak day. That's big. On the back of the bottle that says to do it. Oh, I'm fing up. Uh, so you guys, you guys messed me up. Uh, I gotta do these first. I, I, I put. Yeah, you season it in the pan. So then uh, we get the lemon pepper. Oh. He so by the way, the, the potato is out of the oven. It's, it's cooked. It's we actually cooked. Of course it is. Yes, we did. Why would it not be cooked? Dude, when you stab the steak, it just goes through. Here? Exactly. It just goes through to the pan. No, it was steak. It, it's yeah. seasoning. Yeah, that's a steak seasoning. Is More. No, More. That's lemon pepper. You're so f***ing dumb. You're so f***ing dumb. Look. I'm going to be honest. Like, this seasoning job, like, this is... This is why you have a man do stuff like this, right? Or you at least have Nick do it. Bro. Look at that. Look at that right there. That is just embarrassing. I'm sorry. But that is just fucking embarrassing. Seasoned one-fifth of the steak. That's right. This is some fucking Bernie Sanders shit. One-fifth of the steak gets 99% of all the fucking seasoning. You didn't put... On there, he, man. He put no, cause it's gone into the steak already. Look how much he put on there. Yeah, I put way more on earlier. But yeah, you put way more on steak. one place. Like, the color has dried, like, gone away. Didn't even try. Like, All right, so can I, can I shake this one? I, I don't remember. Okay, okay the so lemon pepper is a lot on. better. But to be fair, uh, to be fair, it's actually not Melena doing a better job. It's the fact that the holes in the lemon lemon pepper lemon pepper is like the the kernels are larger. So less of them get through, so it's easier to do it right. So it's not like she's really doing a good job. It's just that the the container makes it almost impossible to do a bad job. I, I you know that's that's what it is. Okay. So then there you go. There's the steak. Oh wow, what a good steak. How much? The entire thing covered in Worcestershire sauce. <clears throat> the entire thing. Yes, perfect. That's enough. That's plenty. That's plenty. I That's said. Good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Obviously, you gotta turn the bitch over. He's adding more uh, salt. Yes. Salt. Salt lick. How much? A f ton. See, that was way better. See that right there? Molina did a great job. I have to give credit where credit is due. That was a great job at seasoning the steak. Perfect. Trolling? Good job. Oh, man. That's a good-ass steak, man. I said a f ton, not a metric f ton. <laughs> it's Bro, fine. It'll Malena. just make it taste better. Take this seriously for f***ing once. Flip it. He's tending to it. You're not tending to it. He's tending to it with love. Oh, come here. I'm going to stand over there and pause the video while you do this. Come on. Come on. You do it. Come on. Okay, then get get to work. Okay, I'm getting to work. Get Take it off. Fast. Guys, stop. We're listening to Aspen, not to you. I'm not gonna lie. He took it off the heat. Basically. See, what Nick just did, he fucked up there because he got a little bit of the steak residue on the edge of the pan, 
which is going to make it take longer to wash later on. So that's like adding like a bonus 10 or 15, maybe 20 seconds onto the pan uh, cleaning. That's That was a mistake. Put it to the side. I was wrong. I should have listened to the chat. They told me you took it off the heat. I thought it was still on the heat. The reason why I like steaks so much, so the steak is pretty much done. So if you want to take a look, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the steak. Look at it. You can literally see it's like steaming. This is, it's emanating power. I'll probably have a steak tonight. It's, uh, uh, from its edges. So you have, that's obviously a steak. This is uh, a, delicious, be a delicious steak. I can't wait to eat this one. Are we, are we paper plating this? Yeah. Are we really going to paper so plate are, this? Uh, these are the hard... What do you use besides paper plates? Every paper plate you don't use is a dish you have to wash. Like, I've never, like, on a, in a, like, personally, I have never used a non-paper plate. Now, obviously, like, we're having Thanksgiving and, you know, like, everybody, oh, we got to get out the nice plates. Okay, fine. But for myself personally, I've never eaten off of, I've never made myself something that was not in a paper plate. Real, this, these are the steak paper plates. These are the paper plates I eat steak off of. Asma's such a troll. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love him. You guys think, think he's, he's trolling? trolling? Let's cut open Malaya's potato first because it's the one that's fresh out of the oven. Same fork. Though. Same fork. Same fork. <laughs> this one. Yep, Sometimes I like to min max as well, and I don't like to use a knife to cut the fork. To sorry to to open the potato, so I stab the the potato a lot down the middle, and then I can pull it apart. If I don't want to, if I don't want to use a knife to cut it in half. That's more effort. Open. Yeah, but I don't have to wash a knife. Okay, there it is. Cut the other one open too. Okay, I'm gonna put this on your plate. Yep. And we're, does he put any butter inside the potato? So yeah. Um, no. I wanted to share kind of... I actually really like butter and bacon bits on my potatoes, but every moment that I spend... So I, I, I've thought about like, is me putting butter on the potato worth the time that it takes to put the butter on the potato? The answer to that is no. No, it's not. The highest and most min-maxed version of this is to eat it plain and just put ketchup, uh, not ketchup, excuse me, not ketchup, uh, salt and pepper on it. Takes like 20 seconds. Yeah, but I'm not really going to give a fuck. What I'm doing and, and kind of how I make these steaks and everything. Now it's time. I'm going to go straight in for the steak. Check out this cut, chat. It is cooked. Here's mine. Well done. Cheers. And keep in mind, there's no A1 steak sauce. Like you have, you have this, the thick and hearty A1 steak sauce. Or you could have, uh, this is the original. Usually I go with original. Sometimes I go with the thick and hearty. I feel like this one's usually better for hamburgers. This one's usually better for steaks. <laughs> you know what it doesn't actually taste that bad but man it's like it's on fire do you eat the skin of the potato or just the insides i don't even know i never eat the skin on the potato that's disgusting i remember remember whenever wendy's changed their fries and they were like oh well we're going to leave the skins on the potato to make it more natural. Bitch, fuck you. You think I go to a fast food restaurant to eat something natural? No, I don't eat a fucking, uh, uh, the, the skin on the potato. It's disgusting. It's actually tasty. I know. This is 10 out of 10. Dude. This, this might be the best. They're probably being nice and it's disgusting. Yeah, I understand it. And and it would the thing is that there are many people may not necessarily like the way that I cook my steaks or like the flavor, but it's good for me. 
I love it. I think it's delicious. Texas barbecue I've ever had. Delicious. No mere mortal. A, hey, no mere mortal can live with asthma gold. This is literally a $2.50 meal, chat, and it is not bad. Is that's right, because back in the day, that's all we could afford. And I would have this meal, and my mom would make it for me, and you would get the potatoes, and you'd get the steak, and you could have a great meal for under $3. That's right. Bland, but it's food. I don't want something that's exciting. I just want something that's food. I want to eat food and then be done eating food. That's it. I don't eat food for fun. If I did, I wouldn't look the way I do now. This is delicious. It's a lot of pepper for me. It's like a lot of seasoning. It's very spicy. Guys, we're gonna pop for asthma gold, man. Rate it on a scale of one to 10. 11. She I like love OTK. That's really all that we had planned for today. You know what? This is the easiest cleanup I've ever done. Look. Of course it is. Because you just take the forks, you put them on the plate, and then you put them on the previous plate and you do that for probably two weeks and you get what I've got over there. And so, yeah, you just clean. Yeah, the cleanup is also part of the process. Yeah, it's easy to clean up. Yeah, exactly. Like, everybody, everybody is going around thinking about, oh, the only important part is the meal. No, it's also about the cleanup. It's about the amount of time that it takes to prepare. Like, this is the most min-maxed steak that you can possibly have. Let's see what some people have to say about this. Asmongold's classic five-star steak. Moena losing her sanity because Nick clicking the play button. Let's give it a stit where Asma is out of character and does a house tour of his absurdly extravagant mansion, fully staffed, where he's extremely snobby and demanding. Yeah, that could be funny. I like that. Uh, friendly reminder that Asma didn't even wash his potato. Why would I wash my potato? Do people do that? Why would you wash a potato? To get the dirt off? Well, who cares? Because I have eaten... My dad is really into, like, he'll eat the skin on potatoes all the time. And I feel like the times that I have eaten the skin on the potatoes, it tastes better whenever I don't wash it. It does. True, yes. <laughs> Pesticides equal flavor? I guess so. I, I mean, like, I... That's why I prefer tap water. Is I, like, I don't like drinking, like, Fiji water or, like, Evian water. Like, I just like tap water. Because tap water has, like, a different flavor depending on which animal, which fucking animal died inside of the water reservoir that month. And it's got, like, different pieces of, like, glass in it and dirt and just, like, dead animals. And I, I, I think that the uh, tap water tastes better. Am I crazy? Distilled water only, bro. What, what is this? Like, what are you trying to drink? Piss or water? Like, we're talking about water. We're not talking about piss, guys. He's trolling? No, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm actually not. Have you ever seen me drink a bottle of water? The only time that I ever did that was whenever my mom would order them. Because she didn't like the tap water. I didn't care. My dad didn't give a fuck either. When was your water filter last checked? I don't think we have a water filter. I'm pretty sure we don't, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure on that. Let me link you guys a video. This is a Nick and Melena video. Do you ever drink water? Yes, I do. I drink an entire cup of water before I go to bed. I've used the same cup for like a month. I probably should get a new one because it's getting dirty. <sighs> is it a paper cup? No, it's, it's actually a glass one. One month, yeah. I just haven't even changed it washed it out or anything.